Namibia Football Players Union President Lolo Gorasev said that the football union and the NFA never saw eye to eye, but it was never personal. He said that the suspension will affect Namibian football. Uh, in fact, we never had personal issues with Mr. Rukoro. It was all about administrative justice, because as the SG of, of the association, we requested uh, in, with, with letters in, in writing that certain structures should be in place which would protect the rights of football players, which were not in place. And I think the Secretariat of NFA is the one that delayed the establishment of these structures. So in fact, whatever happens to Mr. Rukoro and, and the case uh, that Kosafa has now embarked on, for us it's not about the person, it's about the organization and organizational structures that must be in place. Whether it's Rukoro, whether it's Mbidu or anyone else, you know, responsible for that office, we want them to execute the man mandate and the responsibilities of that office. New Era newspaper sports editor Carlos Gambequa suspects that Rukoro's suspension is linked with in-house fighting, which according to him, the NFA is known for. Absolutely, this whole issue is not an issue between Rukoro and Shiyangwa. No, it, it, it's, there's more than meets the eye. Because I also get that some information where it started from. It's all about the internal wrongs that we have here in Namibian football. This thing led to this confrontation by the Kosafa president. I don't know what transpired there. I'm not privy to the information. But from what I could gather, it, it all started from our internal problems. Today on one contacted NFA President Franz Bindi to get an official comment on the matter but was informed that he is out of town and will have his own press conference in due course.